Well, welcome back to part five of our General Nobody's campaign. Last time we left off, we were prepping for Denmark and Norway. We had a fight with the Brit fleet. Definitely got our butts kicked. Um, well, that train is spazzing out. We need to also, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Get the number of dockyards going big time. Yeah, that took a lot of ships that nearly got hit. Okay, so just a few of these will be okay. But uh, we'll see. We may have to postpone our naval invasion here. I'm definitely noticing that neglecting surface ships is a real, real big pain in this game. Wait, what? Hold on, it's 1940. February. I'm at... What? How have I never noticed that I'm not at war with France? Wait, I've got to be at war with... Am I taking crazy pills? Okay... It shows me at war with France. But then... No? Okay, but they're showing... Was pull. Oh! Okay, that's what's going on. It's now the national color. I was expecting red because it's enemy, but now it's just based off your national color. Your plates. So then the ultra gray is because of Germany. Okay, man, I thought for some reason I wasn't in war with France. I'm like, how the hell is that possible? I've been fighting your air force this entire time. Um, okay. Well, that's okay. Move back. Now. Most important thing, let's design some air forces here. I decided I did want to do it on camera because this is by blood alone. So, let's take a look at our current fighter, uh, which I've been neglecting. So, we've got dual machine guns on it. Um, we could have, I guess, upgraded to heavy machine guns a little bit earlier. Because instead of 16 air attack, we could have had... Do, 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 do. Okay, an extra 8 air attack. That looks pretty decent. Um, we do not have any of the things that would help us, though, for defense. Mainly meaning, what, the survivability studies, do, 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 which would get us access to armor plating and self-sealing fuel tanks. Now, once we have that extra rubber, self-sealing fuel tanks suddenly looks very interesting. Why? It's just a little bit of weight, a little bit of protection, a uh, good amount of air defense. Now, the key portion is looking at armor plates here. Brings the range down. Less air defense, and, and but it's really bringing the range down. I don't want to be bringing the range down, because it looks like there are not many ways to up range in this one, except for extra fuel tanks, which decreases air defense. So you can put on armor plating to then, I guess, have some extra uh, fuel tanks, which I might have to do, or you put on drop tanks, which makes it more expensive. We'll definitely need that for the Soviet Union, but by now, I think that's a little early. The other thing I wanted to look at is, yes, I'm going to be getting anti-tank cannons too for my planes. That is a good amount of ground attack. That is 15 ground attack. So let's take a look first at our fighter. We've got lots of air to redesign with, so that's good. So, improve small frame even research by Messerschmitt great we're gonna stick with the focke wolf icon we will get the matching focke wolf I think that's the focke wolf um course one engine we're gonna go to tier three engine okay let's get some speed here so right now well, I guess I should design it fully, then we'll take a look. So what if I go for the heaviest punch possible? So instead of that, we go with the cannon. The cannon weighs a lot, 
It hits agility. But... You know? Let's give it some extra punch. We are shooting down some fighters. Uh, excuse me, bombers. So then let's go with the rest with some heavy machine guns. Okay. Still has the just main two missions there. Any other things I need to add on to this? No, I don't think so. No turrets. No, we're good. So keep you nice and light. You don't need bomb sites. Not strategic. Now, see, it makes it cheaper, which would be nice. Takes aluminum off, which doesn't matter, but the minus six air defense. That is the last thing we want. So let's take a look. Just with some heavy machine guns. Eight heavy machine guns and a pair of two times cannons. We are, first of all, let's check the check the stats here, okay? That's an extra 250 range. That's a big deal. Our speed is 644 versus what's our old speed 500 okay way faster looking good there agility is 50 this agility is 64.9 way better that attack is over two times almost three times better at 44 versus that what's the air defense 9 versus an 11 so then the question is what if I possibly went heavier and did some extra cannons I did cannons. Start wait, no no, let's do the heavier cannons. Now we're fifty-eight. Still much faster. You know what? We'll stick with the top speed. We're gonna, we're gonna take the middle route here. Go with the four times machine guns, then the heavy can two times heavy cannons. And let's see how the hell this one goes. I don't know. Why do you look like that? Let's change your icon. The good old Focke Wolf symbol. There it is. Save. Okay. You are going to cost a lot more, though. It will upgrade, though. It's got the same kinds of missions. And actually, interestingly enough, the same amount of aluminum cost. So instead of 5.76 a day. Okay, about two a day, but those are going to be a hell of a lot more potent and a lot more survivable, or they're going to hit a lot harder with air attack. So we'll see how that goes. Now, the other question is, do we redesign our, where the hell is it, um, Stuka. So here is our basic Stuka right now, basic Stuka model. Does that look like a jet? Yeah, let's use this, the jet as its icon. Oh, well. So we just have the bomb locks. Which, when we're in bomber mode, which is what we care about here, in bomber mode, we've got some crappy range, only 650, and agility is in the 33s, ground attack is a 6, air defense is a 13. Okay? Now, we still want the dive brakes, because that's extra air defense. Oh, it's extra naval targeting, too. That's interesting. So let's see, could I have actually put a detained cannon on this? Yes, I could have. I would have hit. So the ground attack would add another eight ground attack. So ground attack would have gone from six to suddenly 14, which is impressive. So that is something I definitely want to look at. So yeah, let's design a new um, ground attack plane. So, prove small airframe, yes. Armament for main roll. Cast weapons. Okay, our choices are small bomb bay, which is eight. Bomb locks. So, interesting. It's naval strike versus port strike or anti tank cannon. So what if we go, I guess, bomb locks, then throw an anti-tank cannon on it. Because that's an extra eight. We are going to get hit on the agility pretty bad. So that's 36 agility versus, 
Well, I can't now. I've got to ask to put on the same mission. And then put something like machine guns. Now, if I do something like machine guns, it's not going to reinforce the current squadrons because it'll be able to do more missions, to be able to do air superiority and intercept. So maybe I don't do that. Small Bombay. We'll do more. Put some more. Weight, thrust. Oh, how about I put the correct engine on it? Okay, beefier engine, of course. We need to put our defensive little turret on it. So now is that a light turret or is it a heavy MG defense turret? Air attack. Okay, still got the weight. It's got some speed, it's got some range, good. The agility's not the greatest, but it's doing 14 ground attack. That doesn't look bad. Is it worth sticking another cast weapon on it. So now your agility is in the absolute shithole though. So if this thing gets caught, it's just going to get killed. So let's not do that. So this will be the new fighter. We've got the heavy MG turret on it. We've got some air attack. Weighs a decent chunk. The agility is not the greatest, but it still has some. Okay, so we'll make that our new one, find the right, there we go, model. Got to get it to match. I think that's the normal Stuka, we're still with the cannon on the front. There we go, there's some cannons on the front, we like it. Okay, just three missions. Exact same three missions. Good. So that means the old ones will reinforce. So I can keep the veterancy of my units. Okay, there's the new one. We're going to go from two... What? How many? 4.5 a week to 1.6 a week. Okay, that's a big hit there. Now, do I bother with any heavy f medium... Well, medium fighters that basically get what we call heavy fighters. I don't think so. I think I'm going to let that sit. Now let's take a look. Now the interesting thing is with the attack bombers got a lot of things there. Special modules. Extra fuel tanks for range. So those guys have extra fuel tanks. That's interesting. Electronics. Bomb sites is all about strap bombing. I don't care about strap bombing. Okay, that's enough maximum defense. And then I guess probably it'll add some more agility so that I can probably put another bomb bay on it and it won't be so crazy. Ground attack on these guys is only six though. Biggest advantage is their range. So close air support really just delivers a hell of a lot more of a punch. It was always that way, but I'm amazed kind of by the difference. Okay, interwar medium airframe, interwar medium airframe. I guess I can pull out a new unit and have them start training. So let's do that. And any other units? Interwar close air support. Yeah, let's pull you out and start training. Basic naval bombers, we'll keep you in reserve for now. Get you going there, and I think we've got more than enough scout planes probably. I don't know. We'll keep them going for now. Um, I'm worried with how the naval fighting's going because it just seems... Oh. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. We're going to need to start producing some half-tracks here pretty quick. And that'll take some rubber. So now the question is, do I design the half-track? Maybe. Again, the cost down looks pretty good. It's a good way to get a lot of extra half-tracks. The speed right now, well, the most important thing of the speed is what is our act actual armor division matter for speed? It's 
So the half track needs to be at least a speed of eight. And I think that's probably okay. We're gonna need to phase those out. And honestly, let's take a look at my tank lineup. Cause I've just got a bunch of mediums, which is not bad. But can I do, there we go. Medium howitzer. I think there it is. Look at that, look at that beautiful extra soft attack. Okay, we're gonna switch up the model here. Great, the grill. You start producing that bad boy. And then, do we care about AA guns? Probably. Take a look at AA guns. Medium armament, no. Small armament, yes. Oh, only the basic anti-aircraft gun is available. That's 16. Do we care about AA in the tank division then yet? Let's take a look. This is the perfect anti-aircraft gun. Right there. Hmm. Auto cannon. We'll see. But definitely throwing some, uh, uh, oh god, what are they called? Uh, self propelled artillery in my divisions will help. Although, I probably should wait until after I conquer France. Simple reason, um, yeah, that costs tungsten. I don't have a bunch of tungsten. I'll be able to trade Spain and Portugal with tungsten once France is dead. Till then, though, that's not a smart move. Okay, so things are looking okay. We're going to see how the air war goes with those hell of a lot more vicious uh, planes. Also, this is interesting, the rocket rails. It seems like it's an easy way to basically take a bunch of air superiority fighters and if there's nothing going on congratulations they can now do logistic strikes and a little bit of close air support not a lot but so that is an interesting option other things we need to do yeah get the speed ahead of time get some extra oil coming in probably oh oh look at this stabilizer for the tank extra bomb sites more importantly Research speed. Yeah, radar and research speed. Let's get going for research speed. So it's going to take a while working on the medium airframe. And now Norway. All right. Who's going into Norway? Okay, we'll use some of these guys. We don't need them for the main push. You guys are watching the Netherlands. You are no longer going to be watching the Netherlands. All you are right. now going to be lining up for Denmark. Okay, there we go. We're gonna give you a what, pair of tank divisions. Great. And right. who's gonna watch that instead? Congratulations, Joachim Fisher. You don't seem to have much going on. You're gonna get on the border with the Netherlands there. Okay. We'll get that going. I guess importantly, did we finish our naval invasion tech? Yeah, we did. But until we can really force those ships out, that is going to be a major problem that I don't think we'll be able to fix. So, let a little time play. Go back to it. Yeah, it worries me when I see numbers that look way too even like this. Look. So we'll say we're definitely overall winning the fight here, but it's, you know, it's a 9 to 10 
or more rules than 9 to 11, you know, between the fighter count. Granted, they're losing extra bombers, enemy support planes, things like that, but it's too close. We don't want that. We need to be pulling out big time victories, not small crappy victories. And then the other problem, too, is we're going to be making a lot less fighters a day, so it's going to take a while for our numbers to pick back up and get to where we were before. Well, we'll start introducing the Focke Wolves. And that'll hopefully be enough. Anti-partisan work. Okay. So let's see how we're going here. Are we... Nope. Resistance is just growing big time. So... Man, we may make it, so I actually need to use, um, got what's it called, uh, collaboration events, and it's no longer that cheesy with how things are going. So, taking a look military governorship. Still going okay. Local police force. Performance. That'll really help. We're in his workforce. Yeah, local police force is the big one just because we need a lot less people than watching it. May have to crank up. Go secret police. So I want to try to get compliance. We're going to have Poland for a while, but uh, I also can't let the resistance get out of control here. So we'll take a we'll have to be watching that and take a look. Okay. Let's take a look. Those are repairing. He'll take the longest. Got a few in the queue there. That'll resolve itself. They're looking to go to war. We're keeping them out. They historically were in. They'll be over here. Okay, there's some fox wolves going in. Great. Back. Can you show me how many Focke Wolves are in there? There we go, 36. Do you still have anything decent? No, it's mostly French planes, actually. <sighs> Enemy agent turned. Got a double agent. The British agent. Dude, look at that. Hmm. I have to be able to recruit them, though. So, we'll see once again. Some more people inside my faction. I'll probably be able to do that. Um, cryptology level. Interception level. Yeah, it's going to take a long time. We need to start speeding this up. Commando training, no, not worth it. No. Grenade strike has never seemed that useful. Suicide pills. So all the other ones I really don't care about. We'll go for radio interception group and cryptology though. It's the ones that are most important. Another British it looked like the same guy. What? Okay. That was weird. Um, I'm trying to remember the historical date. I think it's April. Let me take a quick pause here. Yeah, take, take a quick look. It is April 9th for, Nor uh, for Denmark. Synth rubber. 
Now here's the key. Look at all that rubber. Boom, 63. Now I never have to worry about rubber again. Well, within reason. Um, other choices. Naval rearmament. Not a bad idea. We will want or the Soviet Union at some point. That point is not now. We will want alliance with Italy at some point. That point is also not now. Air innovation. Yeah, because we'll want to open up. Two times research for heavy fighter models. Yeah, that's uh, outdated. Attack bombers close. Yeah, they've not fixed the air language. Um, radar tech. Joint German air project. That does look good. Go with what? Air innovations. A bunch of free air bases. A little bit of air EXP. It's not bad. More alliance with Italy. We will need to do the naval stuff, but not now. Now let's go with air innovation. No flock wolves over here yet. Can't. Why do we are oh, sending convoys around? I don't get it. It's like you're connected by land. Just, just take the train. Why are you exposing yourself unnecessarily? I guess if I made. It's a better train level. It would just go here by land instead of shipping it around. But I don't, I don't know. Whatever. We've got about another month till we go off to Denmark. We do need to pick those up. So that final slot just really doesn't matter too much. Chief of the Navy matters more. So we actually should get our naval experience going. Congratulations, killed them all off. Very surprised, said no one. Um, I definitely got some decent experience in that fight. Um, We'll see. We'll probably commit to a big naval fight, put out a bunch of sh airships, airships, air naval bombers. We'll see how it goes. Also, holy hell, much better stats there. American captured. Great. I think the Brits pulled out of there. It's just the French fighting. Keep killing the shit out of that, because basically all the fighters we kill now, rather than later, 40%. Now, low stability increases the resistance target. What are ways to get stability up? Have we changed that at all? Or bonds, improve working conditions as a course a complete. Bitch, and you don't do all that while you're at war. A little bit of war support. Maybe if I didn't want to spend that right now, that would be okay. How are we doing on our fighter count? Well, slipping back a little further. That'll probably keep happening. 30 days. Take a look. The close air support is set up and ready to go for the invasion of Norway. Or, excuse me, not the invasion of Norway. That's an issue. So we'll probably go for Denmark. Maybe Norway will just sit and wait. Or, okay, you guys are set up for Denmark. What are you guys doing? You're basically just guarding. Let's 
So hold on, let's... I don't know, because the naval situation's looking pretty rough. So I think we will just seize Denmark first, we'll worry about Norway later. It is not looking like a good idea. So April 9th is closing in. Any other shortages? Still a little short on medium tanks. Hard in five days, and actually the infantry equipment's rolling backwards. Are we still gaining in efficiency? Yes, a little bit, but now of course that's due to our garrisons having a fight. Okay. Bunch of little messages there. Do I have any? Oh, wow. Yeah, we are getting a lot of aces that need to get assigned. Okay, so that was some bad news because our aces are boosted because we took the good talents or whatever the hell they're called for our aces, so we definitely need to take advantage of that. And... Yeah, shoot, we've even got a naval ace and some uh, close air support aces. Okay, that's very interesting. Red Baron Hoffman's dead, unfortunate. Don't like seeing that. Still definitely beating them on the numbers, shooting down a lot of their fighters and support. What plane is that? But, um, still only hurricanes. Okay, that's good. I'm waiting to see when they start putting out Spitfires. That's when I know I need to perhaps be a bit more careful. Naval strike. How come you're not actually striking, though? Naval patrol without engaging ships and help friendly task force patrol in the area. Well. Just keep waiting for April 9th. Pull out like that, it's good news. You just shift them. For that magical April 9th. Lost the convoys, yeah. Okay. There we go. Went from like 1200 days to 600 days. Um, April 3rd, three more days, we'll be ready to go. Bulgaria. Bunch of French planes getting shot down again. They might be on 1940 aircraft. Aircraft, actually, I don't know. I don't have the French names quite as well memorized as I should. Well, I hit a submarine, that's nice. Shoot some of those down. Shift back, about to be the ninth. Okay, it's the ninth. Okay, close air support. You guys are up, good. And... You know what? My war goal is only going to last for so long. So wait, how long do I see my war goals are going to last for? Uh, man, subjects. Let's protect it. Hold on. Hmm, so I only have so long. 
to move there. So let's just go declare war. It's nice knowing you, Denmark. Okay, there's that. A little bit of low supply. Well, yeah, I've got a good chunk of troops sitting there. Going. Barkhorn. You go there. You're going to spray for the win. You guys also go for the win. And follow it up. Attack. Keep going. You guys go there. Go there. Can I beat them in there? Nope. Matter capitulated that guy. Oh. Okay, that's some new factories. What are we gonna put them to? The air war? Tempting. Let's take a look at some stats here. Never a bad idea when making a decision. Air war, 1.2k, very specific. Hmm. Over here, about 4.8. Yeah, those are my numbers. Soviet numbers. Probably need to keep upping that. So, let's go for 40 air. Go up to 40 airframes right now. We got the rubber. As soon as we get the factories, it'll keep going. You hit level three yet? No, you're about to though. Ninety-seven percent. Right. And of course, they capitulate before they could. Right. I could do that. Okay, great. Um, sixth army. Nice pilot. Great. So hold on. We need to go occupy territories. Denmark, military governor. Hmm, resistance will declare independence at 90%. Military governor. Minus 35%. That compliance really sucks. Let's try local police. Try to get some compliance gain out of them. I don't know. That may be the wrong strategy. I may have to keep kicking it up. Okay. We're good there. There's my tank push. Forget going through the Ardun Forest. That's for chumps. Um, right. This is now going to beat France. Okay. Stall's the priority. Angetreten. You guys are about to... Probably going after Norway later. Not right now. Pull down that. You go back over there. Achtung. What else? All right. Got first army with how many divisions? Fifteen. That's way more than they need. Achtung. Okay, here we go. Fifth army can watch Belgium. All and right. 
and you know, part of like a division walk into Luxembourg also and that'll be okay it's only 15 divisions over there And then the first army there, I guess, will be my backup. Achtung. Okay. I took out an early Achtung. sub. That's nice. But you guys need to fan out. Right. Actually, guard things. That'd be useful. Um, Watch that there. You're watching Kiel. Come down there and watch that. Way overkill. Going home, don't even care. Right. Uh, I guess what? Come down there. Belt. So enemy submarines can pass. Oh, did they get a fleet locked in here? Why do I feel like they got a fleet locked in there? Because I think they've got a fleet locked in here. So hold on a second. How close is that fleet to repairing? Very close. Okay, well, if they're locked in here, we'll uh, let them come out. Go for it there on that front. Go for it there. Pair priority high. Splits. Gauge at medium risk. Gauge at high risk. Pair priority low. So let's see what happens. So I think they've got a fleet stuck there, and I want to kill it. Hmm. See, part of the issue is my plane count. Well, that's a good way to flip it right there. Our average defense is lower, speed is lower, and agility is lower. Than theirs. I don't like that. So it looks like they just have better stats overall on average than I do, which is, of course, a grade A fucking problem. Now we're up to 143 Focke Wolves. I don't see any better planes yet. We are still slipping backwards, though. So, probably bump that up to 45 or so. Early sub down. Here we go. We've caught the British fleet. Of course, the air sucks. But now we'll take a look at the. Okay, so hold on. Better pack guns. Yep, 100%. Whoa, that costs chromium now. And a lot of tungsten. They have changed the price tag on those bad boys. Okay, so the chromium I did not see coming. Not that it changes anything, I'd still go for it in a heartbeat. Um, yet, yeah, no, no. 76 days. Oh yeah, when we get this done. Next entrenchment, better forward attack. Okay, finish that up, that's in 76 days. Um. Okay, I'll chip away at the 
some British fleet here. Get some experience for Raider. If you sink some submarines, I'll take it. It'll be worth killing off. A few Brit ships that are trapped here. May 10th is what I'm going for it on France. Okay, some British subs over there. Man, do they slow down naval combat? Like in the old days, I would have plastered this. Lost 12 planes on top of that. Wow. That, uh... I do wonder if they've changed that. Yuga subs go home repair. Everybody else, you're looking okay. Go repair. Everybody else looks okay. Oh, well, hello. You want to monkey around here and strap on me a bit? Put some more fighters in. Go. Okay. Does that look okay? Fighter count I kind of worry about because when you're behind, oop, it's looking good. There's Fraser now. Wonder if I'm gonna have a hard time taking out those subs. Because spoiler alert, I think I'm gonna have a hard time taking out those subs. It says there's still like a good chunk of enemy ships in there. Coming up to good old May. So. Now we've got this going. It's now the kind of the oil production that matters. I'm good on rubber. Ellerin's case, the British. Okay. Still, cost another nine ships. It's not cheap. Okay. Well, those are some big numbers being thrown up there. To 162 Focke Wolves. Definitely once we can get France out of here, that'll really improve the situation for obvious reasons of they will not be building any more planes. Well, it's only 12 factories, we're at 37, I'm at 44. Man, they are really stepping up their airplane production, which uh, means I need to as well. So we'll probably get those done and then I need to go back to spamming those bad boys. We'll keep going, because the worst thing that can happen to me is Germany is I run out of fuel in a war. And then, yeah, I really do need some better radar. That radar is pretty wimpy, especially for this stage. Just had a small heart attack, so the war declared war. Into the League of Nations. Was that a new event? I feel like that's probably a new event. Okay, working on these new Panzer divisions. Medium tanks. Still trending backwards on fighters. Any Focke Wolves to a day am I up to? Almost three. 
Not quite. Radio Inception Group. Owls do the opposite. A little cryptology. Oh, that's right. I forgot the better anti-tank guns. Let's take a look at the plane, because instead of anti-tank one... Anti-tank cannon two. Hell yeah. That costs like next to nothing, too. Now I'm on ground attack, it's gonna be 21. Well, that's gonna be savage. We'll take the hit there and productivity for a bit. Okay, resistance growth is slowing down, but damn. Oh, that's right, as compliance increases, resistance goes down. Okay. Got it, that makes sense. Um, okay, Officer Corps. Chief of the Navy. Donuts, Raider. Probably Raider, just because I'll end up fighting with that. We'll have to pick some of those eventually. We'll just keep pulling the experience for now. Um, do I have all the generals I need? That's the thing. I don't want to fill on my list. I've got Tobias Meyer in reserve. And then I've got, what? Four basic generals, two field marshals. I might need some more. So we're going to let it go for now. Defense decisions. Everything's about the ace pilots. Okay, put out the new ace pilots. Well, I'm getting worn down over time. Few extra planes in there. So yeah, I'm definitely killing the more more of them than me, but there we go. Now it's about thirteen to sixteen on the ratio. Although one of you guys needs to go back. Watch that. We're lined up for May tenth. No more pans revisions are coming out yet. You're close. You need the experience, though. All these tank divisions are pretty close, except for you. You need all your tanks. I mean, you know, you guys all good to go. Pretty much. Hold on. One of you guys I thought could use. Oh, wait, it's so the 8th. Eighth. Eighth right. It's my best Panzer Division. Nope. Oh, you've already got your uh, awards. Oh, I should have checked which Panzer All Division, right. which one got Norway. Marshall to Lubeck. Well, there we go. You can use it. So, breakthrough, supply consumption, division org. Great. Division org on the first Panzer Division. Nothing. Let's check the third. Nothing. No. Sixth. I think I checked the other ones. Oh, no, I did not, because Copenhagen. Okay, so seventh. Hey, that was Rommel's old one. Alright, there we go. See a bunch of airfields. Got Copenhagen. Okay. So that looks good. And honestly, you guys are not catching anything. So go home. Simple reason of I don't want to spend the fuel on you guys. And shit's about to get very expensive. Um, okay, air doctrine. 
Interceptor detection? Yeah. Just... We're gonna have tons of... Air left over. You guys get to turn that off. Okay. That was some pretty good savaging there. few days, we go for it. As long as France is successful, we are in business. So I guess, let's take a look. These tack bombers are way too far back. Attack bombers into what there? You go in there. You go there. Closer support will need to move up. Mr. Poland will be fine. Basically, you just forget about the air war over Germany. Everybody goes balls deep on France. That's what matters. Okay. So, wait for May 10th, and then it's uh, go time. Bulgaria joins the Axis. Yeah, so, the Bul glorious Bulgarians, I'm sure, will never have any issues. Well, wow, shooting down a lot of bombers there. Okay, May 10th. You know what? It's a perfect time to end the episode. Next fight is the fight for France. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.